Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one more component of Material UI is called Modal. So let us understand how we can use Modal in React application. So for that, as usual, I have imported this new component here. And this is the new component in which we will make a coding of models in material UI. So let I create first of all box layout here. Inside a box layout, I use uh, typography. Here I provide H5 color secondary alignment to the center. And then I pass here MUI model example. Save this model with nested model. We will see the nested model also. Now here, first of all, I need uh, one button that will hide and show this. For that, I take button and I say color of this button is secondary. Variant of this button is contained and on click, I want to perform to show set open would be the state variable. So I say true here and here i say show model save this simply we have button here and now i take state variable i say const i say here open and set open and here i say use state here i say by default false now after this button here i take modal component here we have a property open. So here I pass open for that. We have a on close property. So here I want to specify the on close operation that would be set open to false like this. Now, now here we have to put in curly bracket. Now close it. Now under this, this is a modal open close. Now under this, Modal, I take one box again and inside this box, I take first of all typography. Here I provide this typography to H5 and uh, no color at all. And we say here modal heading like this. Then after that, I take one more typography. Here I say body body2 is the text for this and uh, I say here low ram multiply by 1 so I have a dummy text here like this under this modal you see so we have this open property we have a close property we have a box layout we have a data inside a modal so if I click true then this will be visible I need one button also so after this box layout here I say button also and this button we have variant equal to contained and color equal to error red color and on click I want to close this so just copy this from here and paste here same we want to perform here now in this button i say close save this so we can close this model on clicking on this button now if we look this we have like this mui model with nested model example here i click on show model you see we have a model but it is not formatted it is taking or covering all the screen of the browser I click on close and it is closing also once again you say it cover all the screen so we have to decide the layout for this for that I take one constant with property so I say here constant style equal to under this style I say position of this position should be absolute first one then I say width of this should be 400 pixel. And then I say uh, from the left, 
should be 50% of a screen from the top also 50% center of the screen and then by using transformation we put it into the center so I say transform and then translate toward the center of the screen so we say 50% minus 50% minus that is a formula now what I do and uh, translate this so we can provide under the double quotes like that and uh, we can also provide this also minus 50% like that so this property should be translate and these values should be like this border also or bg color also i say bg color the bg color is background dot paper white color uh, then i say border border should be of uh, two pixel solid type of border and we can say it is red color then we can say border radius also if we want that is two pixel not more than this then we can also decide padding we can pass padding also and uh, we can also pass box setting and i say 24 pixel like that we may decide more properties also that is depend on you what you want but these are the minimum requirement so in the box here i provide sx equal to style because i need to define the style for this and if you see this once again i click and you see we have this but color is not working i think so i will do this also so click on this and we do not have a border color also white color here inside this so we define few more properties so here i say in heading gutter bottom this property that will decide uh, the space after the heading so i click and this space we need so for that gutter bottom b should be capital so gutter bottom for providing a space so i click on this and we have a little bit of space after this heading then we need a button also the border margin for this so i say margin equal to 2 for button and i need to decide the bg color also so that bg color should provide like this now i click on this and you see we have bg color to the white and this close button we also defined some margin so uh, that uh, button we have and uh, i say margin to three and you click here no we do not have any effect of margin on this so what i do i say sx equal to and here i need to define the margin to two you see now it is perfectly positioned and we should give the justified to this also so for that margin we can say one margin i require and the alignment for this alignment for this should be justify i click on this and you see properly we have defined this model it is working properly we have more options also how we can uh, add nested modal also means inside this modal i need to open another modal also how i can do this that we are going to learn just it's very very simple for example uh, I just copy this once again the hall code of this copy it's very simple the hall component I just copied and I paste here once again and uh, the all coding of this not the single one the complete coding I just copy this and once again I paste it now I change the name to child modal or nested modal nested modal and i just cut this style from here and i put this style to the global style so that both can use this one also this one also so delete from here 
now uh, this name is nested modal and it is like this we have button also but i can remove this from here no need of example of this we have a button and here i say show nested modal same property we have and you see we have this and i say here nested modal like this heading and this button is also for closing nested modal and we have to decide the style also so i say here that in this style i want to add width to 200 200 pixels so i am just reducing the width of this and uh, uh, this is a style i decide this like this like that so we have provided this property also now uh, i need to call it so i will call it in the main modal so i will call it after this button and here i say nested modal like this save this and now we try to open it i click on it and you see we have here show nested modal and i click on this we have a nested modal also i click and close we can define more closely also more in a best or optimum way for that what i do i remove uh, uh, this box layout from here and i keep it uh, this one is the main example and from this button i just remove this box layout because it is just uh, avoidable and i use this like that now you see the changes mm -hmm. click on this and this is coming just in front of the close and we can click on close it will close the upper one if i show nested modal i click on this and you see nested modal is also display here and we just click on close it will close we click close the outer is closed so like this way we can define multiple nested modals also we can interlink all these modals and we can display information as per the requirement if you require the modal in your application you can use like this i think i tried to give you a very very simple example for this if you understand it and you have learned something from this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video